If you're here to subscribe, please kindly subscribe, like this video, share it to your friends. M is the set of N such that 2N minus 3 is less than or equal to 37. Here, N is a counting number. By counting number, we mean natural numbers starting from 1. Write down all the elements in M. So, we they define M in set builder notation. We can use various ways. We can use interval form when we use the brackets, the square brackets, and the parentheses. But in this case, they use set builder notation. We must know how to read this. M is the set of N such that 2N minus 3 is less than or equal to 37. So we have to solve this inequality to find what M is, the range of N. So 2N minus 3 less than or equal to 37. Add 3 to both sides, you have 2N less than or equal to 37 plus 3. So I'll have 2n less than or equal to 40. And if you divide both sides by 2, we have that n is less than or equal to 20. Now, m will be the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, inclusive. If a number is selected at random from M, what is the probability that it is a multiple of 3? First of all, what is the formula for probability? Formula for probability is number of required outcome over number of possible outcome. Now, what are the multiples of 3 in this set M? Multiples of 3 are those set of numbers 3 can divide. So, in this set, there are 3, 6, 9. So, multiples of 3 in M are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That's all. So, probability of multiple of 3 will be Number of required outcome is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A number of possible outcome are 20. And what we we'll divide, this is 3 over 10, which is 0 0.3. The second one says factors of 10. Factors of 10 are numbers that can divide 10 without remainder. Why is Multiples of 3 are numbers 3 can divide. Factors of 10 are number that divides 10 without remainder in this set. And they are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So, factors of 10 in M are 1, 2, 5, 10. And probability of factors of 10 will be how many numbers do we have here? The required outcome 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. And the possible outcome is 20. This is 1 over 5. And this is 0 0.2. Question B says a shop owner gave an end of year bonus to two of his attendants, Contour and Gapsin, in the ratio of their ages. Gapsin's age is one and a half times that of Cantor, who is 20 years 
old. If Cantor received 200,000 Egyptian pounds, find the total amount shared. So I'd like to start by saying, let the total amount shared be X. The next thing we'd like to do is to find Gapsin's age, who is one and a half times that of Cantor's age, who is 20 years. So Gapsin's So, Gapsin's age is one and a half times 20, which is 3 over 2 times 20. This is 10, and 3 times 10 is 30 years old. Gapsin is 30 years old. So, the ratio in which the shop owner gave this bonus is. 20 is to 30 as to counter is to Gapsin. Now, let's find counter's share. Counter's share is his age is 20 over the sum of their age, which is 20 plus 30 times the sum times the amount shared, which is S. That is Cantor's share. And we are told that Cantor's share is 200 Egyptian pounds. This is 20 over 50 times x. Zero can cancel zero. Five times this will have 1 million European pounds equals to 2x. So that when we divide by 2, we we'll have that x is 500 500 European pound, Egyptian pounds. Gapsin's share is straightforward. Since Cantor received 200 Egyptian pounds, since Cantor received 200 Egyptian pounds. Gapsin's share will be 500 minus 200 Egyptian pounds, which is 300 Egyptian pounds.